plate of pizza rolls. Oh my gosh, settings! Ooh! Oh! Oh my gosh! I knew it! I knew it! Yes! Wow! Hello! Oh my gosh, Blockbird updated! Oh, I'm so excited. Alright! <laughs> Hi there! So it's been four weeks since we got the, the Bloxburg Halloween update, and now we have a brand new update for November. So this is version 0.12.1. Role-playing families reunite. Update 12.1 is for you. Taking a break from the holiday theme, this update is all about strengthening family bonds. Get ready to create your ideal family experience with our new family tree feature. Protect your fridge against food theft with our customizable permission settings. Unleash your creativity and design the perfect kid-friendly space with our kit, new kids' furniture and toys, and much more with our brand new update. Are you ready to create cherished memories with your Bloxburg family? <gasps> Okay, so they added kids themed furniture, toys and decorations, added new kids vehicles, <gasps> vehicles, more than one, plural, added new foods, overhauled and added new taller and kid animations, added a new family tree feature, added customizable permission settings, and a major bug fixes. Oh my gosh. I knew it! Well, okay, it's kind of obvious, right? If they were going to do a family tree update, they would for sure, like, kind of revamp the whole permission sort of thing. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and go into build mode and go to build new. We got to check out the items first. If All right, we have three new Inigli vehicles. Okay, so we have this Thunderbolt electric scooter. Uh, works great for anyone from child to adult. Speed through your neighborhood with no manual force needed. Just remember to park it correctly. 35 speed, so let's place that one down. We also have a Little Wheels push power car. Let your child kick those legs and push themselves into new adventures in this classic plastic car. It's a 10 speed. It's a 10 speed. Did I really try and predict that this would go like 30? No, yeah, I, I kind of did. We also have this Little Wheels Mega Cruise and Trike. Uh, cruise around the sidewalks and be the envy of your friends with these hard to miss oversized wheels. <gasps> Cute! We have a little tricycle! Oh, it's faster than the push car. Wow. Just by two though. So those are the three new kids vehicles. Uh, decorate new. Let's see what they added. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, so we just saw these three. Cool. We also have a family tree plaque. Probably display your family with this elegant plaque. What? Huh? Okay, I need some decorative walls. Let me let me add those. I don't know. I'm just gonna add like these things real quick. Okay, yep. Okay, family treat. What? So is this the whole thing the decal? Like you can just put your photo there. I think. Okay. Colorful city play carpet. <gasps> Wait, this is. Look at this thing. Wait, this is so cute. Wait, this is awesome. Wait, it's a map of Bloxburg. <laughs> Look at that. We got lovely lumber. We got the Ferris wheel, the fisherman, Ben's ice cream, Mike's motors. Yeah, it's literally just a map of Bloxburg to a carpet. Wait, I love that. I never expected that, but that is really cool. And of course, you can res rescale it. Yeah, if you want. But it says, uh, take a trip down memory lane with this playful carpet depicting a town suspiciously similar to Bloxburg. Suspiciously similar to Bloxburg? Wow. What if they're hinting like they say down memory lane, eventually this town won't be a thing anymore. But look at that. Suspiciously similar. Alright, we also have a yo-yo. Play with a yo-yo can be a highly entertaining and skillful activity that offers a wide range of tricks. Okay, that's tiny. That's tidy. We also have a hexagonal jewelry box. It's a beauty crafted box featuring a plush interior and a small dancing figure in a store your precious belongings inside of. Dance and spin with joy and view that sparkle in your eye in your eye each time you open this box and grab that favorite gem. Oh <gasps> wow, that's a big box. We also have a kid's book. It's an award-winning story for kids featuring Joanne the Knight and her adventures. Oh, is this from the TV show? Now you can also experience the story of Joanne, her horse, and the meeting with magical person on TV. Oh, yeah, it's the TV show. Wait, is that like a permanent thing then? We also have kids plastic bins. Ooh, perfect for storing toys or sorting your clutter. Get organized in a fun way. Yes. Wait, this is perfect for daycares and stuff, especially. Or like schools. We also have a modeling dose, It's kind of like Play-Doh. It's scentless modeling dough. You can unleash your inner creativity. Let's get that. Pretty much Play-Doh, yeah. We also have a foam sword. This is what we saw in the teaser. Oh my gosh. Now you can live out your dreams of being a knight, a pirate, or any sword-wielding hero safely in your home. The perfect toy for any child as the only limit is your imagination. Wow. <gasps> ah! Plastic shopping cart! Wait, a baby shopping cart that is just the right size to fit your plastic foods and bring them back to your five-star play kitchen. I love these descriptions. They're just so, like, perfect. Sorry if you're, like, if you're just bored of, of me reading it, but we have to appreciate the, the, the writing in the descriptions because, like, this is great. Star pillow. We got a new pillow with a shape like this. One might say the pillow is out of this world. 
Uh, that, okay, that one, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> that one anyways. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. A new pillow. We also have a planet mirror. Gaze into this universe and its mysteries in this planet themed mirror. I love this, actually. Like, a family, like a kid's update. I don't think we've had that for a while. So that is a cool mirror. It's giving pizza planet, even though it's literally just a planet. Why it reminds me of pizza planet specifically, but planets existed before pizza planet. <laughs> uh, we also have- Oh my gosh, wait! <gasps> a space rocket bed? Wait! I've always wanted like, like silly, like unique furniture sets like this. Wait, this is great. What is it? A space rocket bed that will take your dreams to new galaxies. Short and simple. Oh, those bedrooms are going to be great. Space themed bedrooms. Rooms, perfect. Star ceiling pattern. Gaze upon the stars and wonder about the universe with this star ceiling pattern. Oh, it literally goes on the ceiling. Kids' bedrooms overall are just going to be better. You know, they're just going to be better. I'm actually going to put like a ceiling, like a floor ceiling over it. We might miss, miss these ones. I'm not sick, by the way. I have allergies this morning. Okay, I kind of, yeah. Ooh, do they glow in the dark? It'd be so funny if they had a, like a glow in the dark effect. Okay, anyways, moving on. We also have a space rocket lamp. I just, why did I call this a castle lamp? Um, oh wait, there was a castle lamp. Ah, okay. No. <laughs> we have a space rocket lamp. <gasps> Light your way through universe with this space rocket lamp that goes perfectly with your rocket bed. Perfect. I'll put it there for now. We have a new ceiling fan! A star ceiling fan. Let the galaxy spin before your eyes while you gaze upon the mysteries of the universe. Yes. I agree. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cool! <gasps> wait, it has like- Oh my gosh, it's like a planet. It's like the moon. This is the moon, right? And then the stars. I love everything, okay? I love everything. We'll just put that there. Uh, we also have a scrapbook. Keep all your memories stored in a safe place with this scrapbook. Uh, the picture in the front is easy to change to your most beloved family photo. Oh, you totally could. I bet you could. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. It tells you the size. It tells you the size. 70 by 40. Yep. We also have a diary. It's a perfect lockable diary to keep all your deepest secrets in. This diary features our 100% hacker-proof technolo technologically advanced NBO not being online lock. A revolutionary way to keep your secrets safe from leaking on the web. Wow, very specific, but also very important. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys were right! Okay, so in the uh, teaser video, a lot of you were predicting that this would be a wardrobe or like a like a dresser of some sort. And you were right. You were right. It is a dresser. It's an actual dresser. Uh, next to that, we have a royal kids throne. It's for regal children. Sit in and behold your vast kingdom. That is your bedroom. Look at that. Ooh. I love... Okay, I don't want to say I love that too much, but I really... I think that's really cool. That is so cool. Okay, next thing, Royal Kids Desk or your regal business. Two towers have two towers have plenty of space for you to fill all the items you might need. Royal Kids chair sold separately. Once again, can we just appreciate the person who took the time to write all of this because it sounds like a commercial for real. Like they're selling it. They're selling it based off the description. Like if you think about it, yeah. Wow. Fancy. Fancy. I'm about to seize again, please. Next, we have this royal kid's crown pillow. <gasps> Show who's in charge. And you can rescale it, of course. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna put down the desk. I don't know why. I will. Look at that. Or royalty only. Why is there a random rose bush here? I'm sorry. Uh, look at that. I can't wait to put that everywhere. Ooh, okay. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Royal kid's castle bunk bed. A royal castle bunk bed for an extra royal child who needs an entire castle to sleep in. Confirm to keep your little treasure safe from the boogeyman. I'll let Fortress Walt. Wow, that's so cool! <gasps> it's a bunk bed, but also kind of like doubles as like a mini house, you know? Look at that. It's got stairs. It's got a slide, a bed, and whatever you want to put underneath this. That, yeah. Okay, that is beautiful. We also have a Royal Kids Castle Lamp. I want to take a look at that. We need to take better look at these details. Look at that. Surrounded. The lamp is surrounded by the castle walls, the battlement, pointy stuff at the top. Let's take a look at the space lamp too. I'm not actually like, the thing I noticed about my update videos, I don't take a really close look at these things. Let's admire all the details. Okay, look, we have one last thing. Uh, the Royal Kids Nightstand. So I'm actually gonna put the uh, castle lamp on that. There you go. And I'm actually gonna grab another one for the space one because they are like pretty much the same. Like they have a similar color, so it matches very well, look at that. Wow, look at that end table. Oh my gosh, you're gonna see this crown pillow everywhere because, uh, you know who's wearing a crown? Where am I? I don't know. Okay, well, that's everything. A nice stand resembling the tower of a royal castle. Perfect for putting crowns, tiaras, and alarm clocks. So those are all- those? So those are all of the new things in build mode. So let's exit that and take a- I guess we can walk- look at me. I'm wearing a crown. Wow, can I sit in it even though I'm not a- Oh, I can't! Aha! I'm gonna be a kid just so I fit this theme better. Look at that. Oh, and I'm already wearing red. Oh, look at me. Down in my chair, yes. 
perfect. Got the desk. This is the wardrobe. I mean, it acts like every other wardrobe, but also the way it opens. And I like... Oh, actually though, I'm gonna do this with the camera tool. Look at this is what it looks like. This is what the dresser looks like. A very in-depth... <laughs> very in-depth... Yeah, that's what that looks like. Okay. And then we also have this lamp. Get the mirror. You can use it to like flex. Uh, here's the bed. Yes, I'm sleeping in my space bed. <gasps> I've always wanted like unique beds or like a unique set. Yes, look at me. Book. <gasps> oh, it's going to be in our inventory. Oh, wait. Oh, you can use it. Wow. The diary can actually open and close. But you can put it in your inventory, right? No, wait. Oh, it's not a backpack item. It's just uh, bins. What is this? Oh. <gasps> What? Oh my gosh. Isn't this the gem box or something? But it's also like a music box. Wow. Okay, use. <gasps> oh! Oh, I was like, why am I hearing music but not seeing anything? Okay, turn on. Oh! Wait, it is just a music box. But you can, it's a music box and a gem box, right? Jewelry box? Jewelry box, which is called the jewelry box. Wow, it has a music box ballerina in it. I don't know if that's copyrighted, but anyways, let's turn that off. Love that. Okay, and then we also have a scrapbook. Change the picture of it. I'm gonna put Coeptus on it. So it's a decorative item, like you would just put on a surface and then you would like look at it from afar, like a glance. You'd have the photo in it. That is really neat. So we have the Play-Doh. <gasps> you can actually use it. I'm molding the clay, guys. What am I going to make with this? Am I gonna make a pizza? Cause that's always, oh, I made it. Oh! I made a little figure. Oh, and then it gives you the the thing again. Okay, I wonder if there's like different things you can make with this. So we saw a little figure. Wonder if there's anything else we can make with that. Oh, it makes different things. I made a little animal, a little goat. I don't know what that was. I didn't take a good look at it. He was too fast. What's next? What are we gonna make now? Oh, I think that's a goat, a sheep, a, a, a goat. That has to be a goat. I don't know. I saw the horns. So we made a figure and an animal. I think those are the only two things that the Play-Doh makes. I'm gonna try one more time. There may be more. It's just by chance, of course. This is completely random of what you make. You don't choose, but... Oh, wait. The kids... The plastic shopping cart. That is a backpack item, so... Look at that. Wait. Yeah. Look at that. Can you put things inside of it? I don't know. I'll do this vehicles last. Those are the best things in my opinion. So now here is our little castle bed thingy. That can you actually go down? Ah, oh, the slide works. Oh, <gasps> the slide works. The slide. Of course, the slide would actually work. Why wouldn't it? But yeah, you know. Hey, okay. yeah, you can make like a little house with it. Honestly, I don't know if I can make like an actual full-on house with this. Like I'm thinking about the video ideas I could do with this. But hey, I see you. That's so cool. Okay, I need to stop saying that. I've enjoyed that very much. Here's the mat. This is the yo-yo, so we got new animation for that. Look at me. I'm a professional. I'm a professional yo-yoer. I'm a professional yo-yo master. So you go down, oh, it's like swings, and then you can do it that way, you go that way. I actually want to like actually learn to yo-yo. Here's the book. Oh, <gasps> when you use it, it actually shows you. Oh, wait, I want to read it. Oh, gosh, I want to read it. I want to read it. It says, the horse traveled into the dark forest in search of help. In search of help. He found a dark and mysterious butt. Oh, but what? He found a dark and mysterious hut, and out from the hut came a witch. The witch transformed the horse into a magical unicorn. The, they rode through the sky to save Joanne. The end. What a great short story. Wait. <gasps> oh, there's a thing on the back. Okay, wait. This is what the book looks like. I can't read that. Wait, what does it say? Hold on. Jola. Jola Joanne and her clever horse on an exciting journey across the land in this retelling of a classic tale. With her new magic sword and hand joined is finally the evil wizard reveal her destiny. Most unexpected of places, the dark and dangerous woods she just left behind. Oh, the witch. Yes. So now we know the lore behind this book. We have a sword now. Let's see. I'm about to fight people. Whack. 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 Boom. Stab. Yes, I win. I win. I win. I'm the winner. And it gives you a buff that says, fun, 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 <laughs> from sword. I love that. Okay, now let us take a look at these, these vehicles. So the scooter, oh, it's electric scooter. So you're not like pushing on it. You're actually just like riding on it. Oh, <gasps> and you can jump with it. And you can jump with it. Of course, this is great. It's like the skateboard. Oh my gosh, this is like an alternative to the skateboard. If you can't afford the skateboard with block bucks. Now you have this. We also have the tricycle. You can ring it. Where does the bell? I don't know. I didn't know it had a bell. Oh my gosh, this is great. 
This is great. And then the push, push power thingy. Okay. Yes. Look at that. See your little feet kicking. Yeah. This is one of those little like toy cars. You just, you have to propel it with your feet. This is my new vehicle, guys. This is it. I look like I'm just walking. I mean, I am technically kind of walking, but oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. That'd be funny if you could like put someone on the back of it too. I don't know. Probably not safe. All right. So those are all of the items. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the new foods. Let's go take a look at the foods and stuff. Yeah. All right. What do we have? Let's take a look. Okay. Well, nothing really in here. Quick meals. Take the quick meals. I'm trying to see. Package of cheese crackers. Oh, yeah. That's new. The package of cheese, cheese crackers. Play the pizza rolls. A pizza rolls? Oh, they moved the Asiago cheese and the pepperberry cheese to the uh, quick meals as well. So that is where they went. Okay. The pizza rolls. Okay. And that's it. Okay, we only have pizza rolls. The cheese has been moved to the quick meals instead now. And we also have a cheese package of cheese crackers. It's got like, okay, so it, okay, I know these. I know these very well. They usually have like either peanut butter inside in between or cheese. Like I see those, okay, you have to place it down and you can take a portion of those. Look at that. <gasps> delicious, delicious foods. Okay, so those are, these are the only new foods then, right? It's just those things. Hopefully I'm not missing anything else. And yeah, the plate of pizza rolls. So you have to put that in the microwave. Oh, you have to garnish it. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. I know whose idea this was. And I won't say who. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm assuming we're putting it on a plate. And then you microwave it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There you go. You put it on a pan. And then you put it in the oven to bake. Okay. I don't know. People microwave them. People put them in the oven. It's just... It's up to you. It's up to you. Personally, I like both. Um, I like it crispy, but also like it if I'm too lazy to put in the oven. I like it kind of mushy too. But yeah, there's no new ingredients. No new like food inside the ingredients category thingy. Um, let's take a look at the family tree. Let's take a look at the family tree now that we can wait. Oh my god, permissions and stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh, settings! Ooh. Oh. Oh my gosh. I knew it! I knew it! Yes! Wow! My prediction basically was correct. We have specific commands and like things you can do. <gasps> this is going to be so good. A lot of people are going to be so thrilled with this for those who are scared of people taking their things and whatnot. Okay. And you can make custom rules too. So we have the guest, we have custom, roommate, and co owner. Like, look at that. Inventory access allows players to view and use your inventory. That's so cool. Hold on, then my pizza rolls are done. Oh my gosh, my pizza rolls. Look at this. I, I actually, I'm gonna go buy pizza rolls today. Yes, those are good. Okay, back to the permissions. Back to the permissions. We also have a family tree. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. And it, okay, so they have plot things. So guests can pick up items, place down items, use general items, open and close doors, lock, lock and unlock doors, change decals, decal storage, access display items, empty containers, food things, take and order food, order food, like use somebody's phone to order food. That is cool. Bridge things, content access. We have electronics from light switches. Like they're so, I love this. Wait. This is so good. It's so specific too. Like, who do you not want using light switches? Because we all know we have those grand opening moments and people are, they, they mess with the light switches and the power boxes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with this. I can't spam these lights anymore. I am so glad. Every time I have grand openings, people like to mess with those. And I am so tempted to like, I am so tempted to delete the light switches and the power boxes just because of that. Now we can do this. Use radio, set alarms, use security cameras. There's gardening things. Allows taking or selling your bountiful harvest. Wow, that's all these. That's really cool. Vehicles, sitting in them, using them, uh, respawning them. Oh my gosh, respawning. That is another thing. Like you're in a car, someone respawns your car and now you're like stranded. That's great. Vehicle feature. Um, wow. Invite players. Oh my gosh, trigger action, like setting off a beautiful fireworks show. Okay, so those are all of like the specific commands that you can kind of assign and stuff and generate items. I don't know what that is. But anyways, there's a custom one. Oh, player permission. Oh, guest. Successfully updated default permission. Do you also want to apply permission to existing players? So is this like the automatic thing? Like as soon as you're in the game, you're a get everyone's automatically sign guests for you oh <gasps> so wait like grand openings and stuff you don't have to guess people anymore sure why not i guess um i guess i'll have to like <laughs> i guess <laughs> i'll have to mess with these if i'm gonna allow everyone to be a guest of mine is that is that it i think so 
for existing players. Okay, I think that's what that means. I hope that's what that means. What I was gonna say about the custom thing is that if you own like hotels and stuff and people have assigned room, I don't know. I would I would think like this type of feature would be great for like hotel owners or like motel. I don't know, like people renting out stuff. That would be great, but I don't know if you can like add your own custom roles. Add additional roles. Okay, I see you, Blockberg. Wow. Anyways, that is the new permissions thing. Family tree. Okay, my other character is here, so let's go ahead and invite him to my family. I need to see this. Invite to family. Invite. Join. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! Okay, so family tree. All right. Oh! I just removed. I don't know if you can like drag it or anything, but yeah, you can remove them just like that. Interesting. Okay, so that's what the family tree looks like. And of course, if you add more people, then of course more pictures will be added. And you can kind of get a better idea of who is in your family. I mean, there's some new animations that they talked about, so I kind of want to see what they mean by that. Like, if I, what if I click on myself in emotes and stuff? Mm. <gasps> oh, look at that. Wait, we have peekaboo. Wait, is this new or is this old? Oh, look at that. I got peekaboo. Peekaboo! 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 Okay, what else is there? Dab. Why would you... Dab? No, I know whose idea that was. Let me see. Do they still have that, like, unicorn show? Yeah, they still have this. Let's take a look at the town. Right. Okay, so the graveyard is gone. Okay, that kind of makes sense, though. If you're, like, the Serena Witch Quest, in terms of that, it makes sense. Okay, the Fall Festival's gone. It's just gone. As I predicted, this isn't really, like, a huge update, but in terms of, like, I think the guest permissions are still great. I think the guest permissions is probably, it's still a big, kind of big thing. Like, this is awesome. I was thinking we could, like, add extra. But anyway, guys, on the note, that is it for today's special Bloxburg update video. If you guys enjoyed this, you found it interesting, um, helpful in a way, make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. I don't think there's really many hidden things, so I may or may not do that video this time around, but... Who knows, maybe I'll just make a whole video about animations. Let me know what you guys think about this update. I feel like the whole permissions thing has been long overdue, and I'm really glad they did that. But thank you guys for taking the time right here to watch this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! This is a pretty solid, like, mini update, quote-unquote mini update, but I think it's pretty big in terms of, like, for the families and role players. And honestly, builders too, because you can build with it, so, yeah. <laughs>